In my last video, I showed a translation of a truck driver who complains about the logistics situation, about the situation in Shanghai, about how truck drivers have difficulties doing their job. Uh, and um, please check it out if you haven't, because this video is, is building upon that one. In fact, a lot of the complaints, like the problems of uh, quarantine, the problem of local uh, leaders adding things on top of the national regulations, also the problems of, of uh, service centers and highways being closed and, 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 and trucks not allowed to leave the highway. All these problems is not just something that this person complained online. Almost at the same time, the Communist Party official newspaper in English, the Global Times, uh, released a rather long article outlining the challenges in logistics. And they mention almost the same problems. So the interesting thing is, if you know how to read uh, this kind of Communist Party official uh, documents, then, then you'll see how critical it is of, of what's happening. However, if you don't know, then you'll feel like, oh, they're just bragging that all the problems are solved already. So, so for example, they usually in these formal official outlets, they don't say, oh, we have huge issues with X and Y. So they're not going to write, this is a huge problem. We don't know how to solve it. They say uh, the national government's uh, institution like the NDRC, the National Reform and Development Commission, is one of the highest uh, institutions for strategic planning in China. And when you read an article that because of local issues, this NDRC got involved to solve the issue. Yes, they write it as though the issue is already basically solved. But what it means is that the issue has become so problematic and so dramatic that it became necessary for a national institution to get involved. Usually these national institutions, they, they look at problems five years, ten years down the road. They do the long term planning. Uh, so uh, while the local governments are in charge of the daily execution of business to keep the country running, if you're familiar with the management theory of leaders versus managers, you can say the Communist Party and these national institutions, commissions, they are the, the leaders. They plan the long term, they plan the change, they plan the strategic direction. Uh, whereas the governments and especially the local governments in provinces and cities, they would be the managers who maintain operations, who optimize optim uh, operations, who make sure things uh, get managed better and better, but who don't have the time or capacity to take charge of the long term planning. So whenever these strategic institutions get involved in the daily business, this is a clear sign that things were not handled well by those who, in, who are in charge of daily operations. It's a veiled criticism to even mention that now the national institution has taken charge. And so if you read it in this way, I'll link this article also in, in the description below to if you want to read it for yourself. It shows, yes, there have been massive issues with the logistics during the COVID lockdowns, especially with Shanghai. As I've mentioned in a previous video, luckily these, these uh, lockdowns are now gradually being opened up, especially in Shanghai. Uh, more than a thousand shops have now reopened grocery sh stores. So people um, will be allowed to have more breathing space, so to say, in Shanghai again. Uh, and I, I've done a previous video about my assessment of the situation in Shanghai. Uh, please check that one out as well. So I'm not going to repeat everything, but just short. I, I think the situation, how it was handled in Shanghai, it wasn't brutal. It wasn't violent. Uh, remember, the regular police in China is unarmed. So people stayed in their compounds uh, locked in, not because they were forced at, by the, uh, like, <laughs> at gunpoint. They all respected the regulations so they didn't go out their compounds. Yes, there were images of people protesting, but that's really just a protest. That's people showing that they're unhappy. It's not people desperate. There were people screaming in, in an odd way. But again, 
if they were desperate, they would go out, they would break out, like nobody can hold them back. There aren't armed police at the entrance of every compound. If people would run into the streets, nobody could stop them. Yes, it would lead to an emergency, who knows what would happen then, but in a short run, people could have gotten out. They didn't because they respected the rules, because they knew in the end it's best for everyone. If the virus is gone, then everybody's free again. And China has managed it well this way for two years. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, like, forward, share. Thank you.